Hello and welcome! I don't know if you've ever noticed this trend, but this happens all the time. Waitress gets a gigantic tip. Then there's shenanigans, because everybody wants the big money. And then the waitress either has to split the money against the customer's will, or the waitress gets fired. Hmm. Arkansas waitress fired after customers leave generous 4K tip. I remember seeing an article like this from Britain a few months back. I've seen articles like this. They pop up every few months where some customer leaves a big, big tip and then the owner of the restaurant tries to screw the customer. Oh, well, tips are capped at X amount because of IRS regulations. Not true. Not true at all. Well, tips are capped at a certain amount because the point of sale software just won't let us record it. Well, guess what? Sucks to be you. Figure it out. That's literally your point of sale vendor's job to get you software that works. And if you don't have software that works, screw you. This is the waitress's 4K. Uh, and actually, the waitress was, uh, split it with uh, another waitress. Uh, like two servers were supposed to get the tip. Split it half and half, so like two grand for each of them. Pretty sweet. Now, the owner of the restaurant, somewhere down here, let's see. Uh, but the restaurant sends manager in search of Brent to pull the tip of their co-workers who didn't serve the large party, and a ranger she told Fox 59 was unprecedented. Uh-huh. I was told I was not going to be... I was told that I was going to be giving my cash over to the shift manager, and I would be taking home 20%. Uh-huh. You know what was going to happen to most of that money? It was going into the shift manager's pocket. That's what was going to happen. It wasn't going to go to the other servers. They might have got a taste. Just a little something-something to shut them up. But it was going into the shift manager's pocket, or the owner's pocket. They were not given that to the waitresses that were supposed to get it. Uh, Wise was the guy who left the big tip. So when Wise, who runs a real estate company called Whitley, Wiltley? Whitley. Sorry, it's much smaller on that screen. Found out he demanded the restaurant return the tip money, and then he gave her 2200 bucks directly. <laughs> My man. Then, and I scrolled down so you could see this, Brant was canned the next day. They fired me over the phone, and I've been there for three and a half years, and that was heartbreaking, because I didn't think I did anything wrong. And they're like, whoa, she was fired for other reasons. No, she wasn't. She was fired because that manager didn't get to steal a thousand bucks and put it in his pocket, and he was mad about it, and he didn't want her talking about it to the other staff, because then they'd start thinking, hey, how many times has that manager stolen my money? How many times has the owner stolen my money? The manager, like whoever made these decisions, I shouldn't be blaming the managers directly. I should be blaming the owner directly. It was one of them. Both of them. I don't know. But they tried to steal money, and then they tried to cover it up. And whoever owns this restaurant, whoever owns the oven and tap in Arkansas, what town? Bentonville. Bentonville, Arkansas, right here. Whoever owns that place in Bentonville, you shouldn't have done it. When somebody, a customer, comes in and they give a big tip, you give that big tip to who it belongs to, which is the staff that received the tip. And now if your restaurant has like a policy in place already where you're already doing like tip sharing so that the bus boys or whatever can get money too, maybe the cooks get a share of the tips, okay, that's one thing. But that was not apparently the case at this restaurant, according to her statement. Here, it's repeated in this article. Brand said the restaurant asked her to share the tip with her co-worker, something she's never happened in her years. What's this go? Can I click this? Ooh. Oh, this is just like, okay, this is some unrelated article. Never mind, I thought maybe that was something like actually interesting. Uh, so yeah, oven and tap. You can do better than this. You shouldn't have fired her. Give her her job back. Give her her job back. What are you doing? Mm -mm -mm. Out of respect for our highly valued team members, we do not discuss the details surrounding the termination of an employee. Yeah. That's a... Okay. I, I'll dial that one back. I'll pull that one back because that's a standard thing for a lot of companies because if they say something and then somebody does not get their next job, they can come back and sue uh, the restaurant for keeping them from getting that job. It's... Uh, Depending on what uh, your exact labor laws are, you know, at minimum, that's like tortious interference. 
So companies, whether it's a big company or a little company, usually don't talk about why somebody got fired. If they do, they're opening themselves up to a potential lawsuit. If that person ever can't find a job again, they point to them and go, well, they said this about me in the news. And now that person just ching gets a paycheck. Anyway, this is a ridiculous situation. I'm mad for her, but I'm glad she got that money in the end. Uh, and apparently she's got like a lot of student loans. No comment there. And uh, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.